But yo, what's up everyone? Joey J. Thing here, checking the live, respectmyreason.com. I miss you guys live from the 2024 showroom floor here in the barn. <laughs> We're in Greenfield, Massachusetts, man. Western Mass. I'm with a very special guest. We've got Drutus, CEO, co-founder of Zeb Boutique. Yes, yes. Dispensary. You guys have a brand. You guys are doing like, a lot of cool things in Boston. Yes, we are. It's a pleasure. How has the show been for you? Oh my gosh, it's been great. We've got off stage. We had an amazing panel. It was very engaging. It was good. I'm really happy for you. I, a lot of people, including our friend here, Drew Bada Bloom, or Drew, uh, uh, Rhea Bada Bloom, has had great things to say. And working with our partner Shrees as well. Shout out to Bada Bloom, our Shrees and partners. I'm interested in learning a little bit about what you, how, how you got into cannabis and how you, what got you into the dispensary. How I got into cannabis, I was a consumer first. And I actually had postpartum depression after my second child. I couldn't sleep. My therapist was like, hey, what about weed? And I was like, no. Right? Clutch my pearls. And yeah, it was one of those moments. And then um, I became a consumer because it saved my life. And I always tell people it saved my life. And after that experience, I realized how stigmatized it was, even for me. Okay. So the first thing I had to do was get over my own stigma. Yeah, yeah. And then really understand that I was like embodiment of what stigma did not look like as a smoker, consumer. As a person. As a human, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was a life coach, an author, a mom, an ICU nurse, like all the things that we're not supposed to consume. But this was the only way I was able to do it well. Wow. So I really kind of blending the story of a different type of consumer. Trees is a, is a disruptor. That's what she just said. They're like, yeah. We're di we are disruptors too. We are moms that are essentially focused on health and wellness. We run races. We just did a half marathon. Oh, wow. And we, are, we want to teach others how to consume intentionally so that they can achieve that mind-body connection yeah, yeah. and reach true wellness. I like that. You are shaping your community. Yeah. And that is huge because you're not just leading, but you're actually lead executing. Leading can be done without too much action sometimes. You don't always have to be at the front of the line. There's a lot of ways to lead. But when you're actually shaping it, you do have to be more hands-on to mold something the way you want it to be. Yeah. And that's really cool. I really, I really can appreciate your guys' intentionality and by wanting to do that with the variety of things that you do. Now, you are a consumer, you said, right? I am. You're a smoker? I smoke socially. I love a good... It's like drink. I drink socially as well. Yep. Um, and... What about smoking? Tell me the question. No, I was going to say smoker, dabber, edible. What, okay. What, what are you it was my first damn wood Battle Bloom in Miami. I was with the Battle Bloom fiend. That was my first dab experience. I danced all night. <laughs> Best night of my life. That's one. My second dab experience was also with Battle Bloom. <laughs> my girl. Um, and I realized I like dabbing. I was just telling someone that I want to get into it because it energizes me yeah. and because i do so much i need to consume something that's not going to put me down mm -hmm. i need something to consume to energize me at the end of the day i'm more like a you know like a, a healing rose bath type of girl yeah, yeah but in the morning this is what gets me going absolutely so i was well, like way too short to the point kind of yeah. thing right yeah. like a coffee or the the, the juice shot right? right or whatever you know the, it could be any version of those things myself joint and a dab and I'm in a headspace and a body space now right. where I've taken away the nausea. I have the energy burst that I want, that I, that caffeine gives me, but I can't take caffeine. And then I also get the mental focus. Uh, smoking for me does nausea get her, go away. And most often mental focus, at least for the morning clarity. Yeah. Morning clarity. And then but the dab is that long-term body. Oh, uh, that. So that's why I'm, I want to get into dabbing because yes. I realize like, I'm a runner. So like, when you're smoking or when you're consuming, like after we ran a half marathon by mile nine, I was not, well, I was no longer in that space. It was all pure runner's high, but I needed that all the anti-inflammatory effect and that focus for my mind and my body to keep me going. Yes. And it literally, I had to like get there and I wish I had a little more help to get there uh, while I was running and because of that body habit. One more dab, one more dab. Like, yeah, somebody, they should stand on the side of races Instead of giving you water bottles, also like have a little dab thing. Sunny skit for you to do for the Boston Marathon or one of your guys' healthy runs, trek things. I I, yeah. I feel like those those big uh, five for lack of a word, five K things, yeah. whatever those are, turkey trots and all that stuff. Yeah. I feel like Boston gets the most love for those because yeah. of the Boston Marathon. They're the more it's like, oh wow, that's We're the running most city. Just yeah, so you're they running, running, yeah, running city. So yeah, maybe that's a funny skit for you guys to do is to stick <laughs> stick a pumpkin with your sticker on it out there. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I'm like, wow. I'm like, <laughs> 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 that's 
Yeah. I wish it all, man. I, my muscles would do really well with yeah. a shot of water, a dab, and then another water. water. Yeah. That'd be huge for the inflammation <laughs> part of it. Yeah, because it's like you literally are, your body is yeah. going. So I like, I'm getting into the dab thing. I, I want to get. Do you ever use the sauna? The sauna? Yeah, so I dab or smoke and go to the sauna. We daily. That's my routine. That's my version. And then the reason I go is because the time that I, that I go to, there's the same older dudes yeah, or whatever. And they bring terpenes, put it in a water bottle, shake it up, and then they shake it on the sauna. And so then it becomes a version of what y'all do in the yoga, sound bath, meditation, smell good space. Because I'm just a regular dude. And I'm just going to LA Fitness. Yeah. Nothing special. But now the Turks are involved. And it makes it super nice. We're going to do that. I would highly recommend introducing oh. sauna into the ecosystem of health and wellness. So we do, we float. So we do float therapy. That sounds fun. And I... That's the bath thing? Yeah, so you're yeah, floating yeah. in there. You lose, like, all that physical... Always, so we do that. We do red light therapy. Um, a lot of, like, the massage chairs and all that wellness stuff. I'm Where's the hypnosis? Massages scare me. We started doing hypnosis. Like, okay. I, there's a Karuna Wellness, JP. Let them up. Boston girl, she's a massage therapist, so she did orthopedic massages. And I, I have a hip injury from a couple of years ago. And we were doing hypnosis to like, and Reiki. Okay. And, and elevated hypnosis and Reiki. When you're elevated, everybody's like, hypnosis, you don't need to be elevated. You remove all these barriers that you're trying to breathe yourself into, and you get there faster, and you go deeper. And wow. so I combine hypnosis and weed and a little Reiki. There's a lot of basic weed combinations out there, but you're talking next level alternative yeah. therapy, <laughs> bonuses, habits. These are all things that people could consider introducing. Highly recommended in some cases. Yeah. Um, at the retail level, let's bring it back. Yeah. We, were we, were we were taking it. We were taking it. We were on. All right. Now back to the retail, right? One location. One location. Flower. Your own CBD health and wellness products. Yeah. You got what else do you guys sell at your store? Um, all the things. All the things. Beverages, dabs, yeah. tinctures. Yeah. Okay. You as a consumer, what have you tried at your store? What were your favorite items? Just a couple. Favorite oh, items. Just a couple. For flower, just any impressed. Them. They're coming up. Okay, impressed, yeah. Advanced cultivators are actually our partner for our flower brand um, that we're launching at the store. Um, and then I would say for drinks, best dirty lemonade. Okay. Have you had that? I know it. Ice cold. Oh, I've and only had the ones from the other states, oh, not the one here yet. Oh, okay. Keep drinking the ones from the other states. We don't get there in Massachusetts. We don't get there. Oh yeah. He's in the Oh, he's been so good. They're yeah. so good. And there is, it's hot outside. This is lemonade season guys. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Topicals, we are working with Irva. We're creating our own topical. Awesome. So that's a, that's a Super, fun. But the Irva roll on, and literally it stays in a gym bag. Oh, yeah. You got, you know that. Top. I love, he love, rolls bath top. I love rolling, uh, roll ons. Yo, it's like you just. Yeah. Listen. Wonders. Right now, the ankles, you know, we need them right now. It's been a long. Come on. It's been a long. So that's, that's really exciting. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy to hear that you are owner, operator, consumer, and actively, that these are things that you're a regular user. Something not often seen in today's industry that that's inspiring. Um, you know, there's obviously not a lot of owners and that are black that own dispensaries, let alone women in the space. Let's give some game to the young people coming up after here. What do you recommend for the young black girl who wants to come into the space, maybe has a similar injury or a medical condition? They're 18, they're 19, and they're like, all right, I'm... They're on, YouTube, they're, they're on YouTube, they discover this video. They discover this video. What is some game for that? For a young girl that's trying to consume, go slow. And get into the space. And, oh, it, okay. So if you're going to consume, go slow and learn yourself and your learn. productions. Learn. Learn. To get into the space, be a forever student. Okay. Don't, Keep learning. Don't judge. Listen first. What, what the black girls, we like to talk. We, we run in there, we spit and game. We out here. Listen. <laughs> listen. Listen. And, and then listen to yourself. I think the best thing I ever did for my business was learning who I was as a consumer, learning what actually worked for me, understanding what my philosophy and my own intention was, um, understanding the bigger picture. Of, but it was all self-discovery. Because yeah. when you discover yourself that you can say, I'm so locked in on my vision and, my, and what I'm doing. All the other noise doesn't make sense. Like 100%. fundraising is hard. And that's one of the things everybody's having trouble with. And we were like, fuck it. Yo, I don't take else. 
I'm betting on me. So we like, there's other ways to make money. Let's go make money. Like okay. that's just, it was, a, and that's how brands are grown and created and other things expanded because we believe in this vision of putting something so valuable in our own community that we're willing to hustle 12 ways from Sunday to get it done. Absolutely. And I think that if you're, if you have a hustle and no execution, no vision, no plan, you're going to fail. So have a clear vision of who you are. Be clear about what you're trying to build. Everybody's like, oh, I hate writing business plans. A business plan is not a document you download and fill in. How do you want the experience of your brand to be? Right back now. Be crystal clear on it. Yeah. And then say, build around that shape. It can be as generic and tepidizer as you just hand write it down as much as you can. And that's the start of it. That's how it works. And every day we add to our business plan. Like, don't be afraid to pivot. Don't be afraid to change. Don't be afraid to start over. Get over the shame of bucking sailing. Absolutely. There's no shame in sailing. There's, there's shame in stopping. Shame and stop it. And keep your vision clear, get organized. Yeah. I always like to, you know, preach the quote that proper preparation prevents core performance coming through sports. Listen, in nursing, we say piss poor performance. Piss, but it's worse. <laughs> yeah, we added another P. Life's on the line. Listen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cannabis in this way, too. Well, dudes, I appreciate you being here with us today. It was a pleasure to get to know you and learn. We're definitely going to continue to have you on. So you guys, stay tuned. We'll definitely have her back. Make sure you guys keep supporting Zen Boutique. Yes. Boston, Google search it, go drive there, support it, spend your money, pull out some more money and spend that money there too. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. It's a pleasure. Awesome. Hey, J Pink, RMR, we out. This. <laughs>